I just want to know why you have to videotape. Why do you feel so entitled? You cannot film anything inside. Well, I'm room. doing it, and there's nothing you or this officer can do about it. Oh, really? Really. What's up? What's up? What's up? These are the rules that you need to abide by. Okay? I want you to read that, mm -hmm. learn it, and love it. You understand? Nice to meet you. you What's too. your name? I'm not going to give that information. Okay. Yeah. Um, I really don't want to hear it. Please try not to bait them. Try not to give bait them. them? Time. Don't say that. Because they already bit the bait, and I didn't even put it out yet. Learn the rules before you bark orders at people. Do you understand me? What's going on, everyone? This is Press NH Now over here today in Medford, Massachusetts, at the City Hall to conduct a First Amendment audit. Today's date is November 2nd, 2023. Please make sure you go like, share, and subscribe to my channel at Press NH Now. I appreciate all your support. Also, check out my playlist to see some videos you might not have seen in the past. Hit that like button, let all your friends and family know about my activism in and around the New England states. Always check the description, all links will be included. Donations are greatly appreciated. They do help me continue my activism in and around the New England area. We're gonna get right to it here, guys. Enjoy the video. All right, let's go inside, take a tour of the facility, possibly pull some public records. Enjoy the video. Sorry? Why are you videotaping? It's a public building. And when are you going to post that? I'm sorry? And when are you just going to post it? Because people who are on it don't necessarily agree to be on your video. Are you looking for like some sort of consent or something? I just want to know why you have to videotape something. Why do you feel so entitled to stop me and ask me what I'm doing? I didn't so ask you what suspicious. you're doing. I look suspicious. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. What are you doing here? He looks quite suspicious myself. Interesting. Yeah. I know, I know. Jeez, not even 30 seconds in the building and I already have a Karen. He's registered as a police. No, I was just looking at the office, that's all. Oh, okay. Yeah, you what? just were videoing the office, so I figured I'd ask him. Yeah, what exactly is this office anyway? What do you guys do? Okay. Around all the elections? Yeah, don't you have one coming up? We do. I, I thought I saw a banner, right? We do. Okay, good to know. All right. Do you have any information on that? or? What information would you like? Just, when, it, when is it? I didn't really look at the date. The election is November 7th, it is. 2023. Okay. Yep, okay. It's a local municipal election. Okay. Do you know who's running? Uh, we have a sample ballot upstairs right outside the, um, right outside where they're doing our okay. voting. All right, I'll take a look at it. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you. it. You Medford PD? Are you Medford PD? Are you Med? It's all right. It's a little echoey in here. Are you Medford PD? Yes. Okay, you weren't called here, right? No. Oh, I just want to make sure. There was a lady downstairs. She felt a little uncomfortable. Yeah. Just I told her I was taking pictures, and then she felt entitled to say I was suspicious of it. So. Okay. Some people just don't understand. I was trying to be polite to her, so. Yep. That's all. You just can't go in there. Why? What's going okay. on in there? Voting. It's voting. Yeah. Today. Huh? I thought it was on the 7th. It's early voting. It's early voting? Yep. Okay. okay. Um, yeah, is there like a statute on that? or like? Yeah. Yep. Do you know what it is? Do you have a copy of it? Or no, I don't. Can you cite something of it just so I understand? I don't. The warden the said what? there's no um, filming. So because they said there's no filming? Yeah, and they were checked. Okay. Do they, are they going by a statute? Or? Yeah, I'm sure they are. Well, can't be, can't assume. Well, there's no filming inside. Okay. Okay? Yeah, sure. Oh, interesting. 
Is it something I should know about? Huh? Is it something I should know about in there? Or? No, no. There's people. Don't it's not want like to be filmed while they're voting. Oh, they don't want to be filmed. Oh, okay. 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 So that's the only reason. No, there's a statute. Okay. It says because people don't want to be filmed in the statute. That's what it I says. Would assume, yeah. You would assume. So you go by assumptions. Huh? So you go by assumptions. No. Or do you go by the law? The law. The law. Okay. okay. Right. But you can't cite the statute. What? You can't cite the statute, but you're willing to enforce it. I'm going by what the warning, who's in charge of the voting center. Okay. He said there's no filming allowed inside. Okay. okay. Cool. Yeah. Sure. Sir, you can't be filming inside, please. The hell I can't. You cannot be filming people inside. 100% I can. What is wrong with you? What's your name, badge number? Sergeant Rogers, S9. How do you spell it? R Rogers. Rogers. Okay. Cool, cool, yeah. Hmm. Interesting. I most definitely will record. Huh? I will definitely most record from right here. Yeah, I will. Okay. And there's you nothing you can do. Put anything in here. Oh, well, that's, you know, I'm in a public area in a public building, so. This, this is the rules. Yeah, I don't care about your rules. You this know? is a public area well, in a public know. building. And that's it. It's the rules are the rules. I don't care about your rules. Your rules don't apply from that threshold at this point. You cannot film anything inside. Well, I'm room. doing it, and there's nothing you or this office I can do about it. Oh, really? Really. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll see about that. Yeah, go see about that. We'll stay right Police here. are right there. Yeah, well, don't worry about it. Silly goose. The hell, I can't record in here. Sergeant didn't say anything. What the hell's wrong with you? I did say yeah, well, that's tough luck, isn't it, bud? Huh? That's tough luck, isn't it? You're not going to tell me what I can and cannot do as long as I'm not breaking the law. And right now, I'm in a public area, in a public building, and there's not a goddamn thing anybody can do about it. There you go, it's a video. It's the last even longer. I will sit here and record all day long if I want to. Unless you guys are doing something nefarious in there. Huh? Unless you're doing something nefarious in there that I should know about. You trying to hide something in there? Like like voters fraud or something? No voters fraud, no? No. Messing around with the ballots, maybe? No. Yeah, it sounds like it. It's a little suspicious. And this is what windows are for, to look through. Interesting. Look at that. Huh. It's funny, they say your name over the radio like a hundred times. Roger, Roger, Roger. Do you ever get confused? No. <laughs> oh, too late. <laughs> He's taking pictures in there. He can take pictures in there, but I can't. Hey, aren't you violating your own rules there, bud? Aren't you violating your own rules? Right? You're breaking the law, right? How can you record or, or take pictures in there, but I can't? I can't hear you. And I can kill us what you have to say anyway. Yeah. What's up? What's up? What's up? Oh, you want to get in my face now? That's real You're professional. The one walking to me and the back. I'm walking to you, huh? Real tough Hi. guy, huh? Uh, real tough guy. Hi. Hi. We How are you? What is your name? My name is Melissa. Hi, Melissa. Nice to meet you. you What's too. your name? I'm not going to give that information. Okay. Yeah. Um, I really don't want to hear it. I really don't want to hear anything you have to say. Because the way he came off to me and what he's telling me is all bull****. And I'm not for it. And I'm not listening to it. And I'm going to take my pictures and I'm going to take my video from this threshold right here. Okay. As long as he does it, because if he is, then he needs to be either trespassed or arrested for it, because if I can't take pictures of there, how can he? Right? Who's taking pictures? Well, the gentleman in there is just taking a picture of me, which I don't care about if he takes a picture of me, okay? But if he's going to be taking pictures of there, I'd like to go do the same thing. Unless okay. there's, you know... I will make sure that nobody in there is taking pictures. Yeah, so are we not allowed to take pictures in there? He didn't take pictures of you. Oh, wait, wait, Jake, Jake. Jake, stay in there. There's no pictures. There's no pictures. 
Okay. So where is this coming from? So you can take pictures from the guardrail. Of course. I, he told me I can't. I know said that. Yes, okay. you did. Sorry, you can't be filming inside. The hell I can't. You cannot be filming people inside. 100% I can. What is wrong with you? What's your name? Bad number. You 100% did. And the other gentleman can, did. Can you and Look I ahead. have a discussion? Yeah. I'll I would listen. appreciate I'll that listen. very much. Yeah. Um, you can take video in mm -hmm. there, but you cannot do any audio. You cannot get I can't do any audio. You cannot do audio. So I can go in there? As long as you stay within the guardrail, yes. We okay. have an observer section, and you can stand in the observer section because you cannot walk around where people are voting. Okay. You cannot look at the, the poll pad that we have, okay. and you cannot impede anybody's ability yeah. to vote. Yeah, I'm not here to impede anybody, actually. I'm just kind of collecting some documentation about the election and what's going on. Okay. Do you have questions about the election? I'm happy to answer I, I asked you, I think, downstairs about it. Yeah. Um, I thought it was on the 7th. I was misinformed, apparently. Is this early voting? This is early voting. Okay. We do early voting which is approved by the Election Commission and um, accepted by the City Council. We do early voting from November 1st to November 4th. All right, so you said, and I just want to make this clear, right? You said I can not I can go in there and record, I just can't do audio? You cannot do audio, that is correct. Okay, there well, how do you record and not do audio? So you, you're you can't do audio. Is there a law regarding this? Sure, do you want to go downstairs I'd, and I'll help you with I'd like to see it. I mean, I'd like to stay here until then. Can you come back up in a few minutes and, I, and I'll wait? And my preference would be to wait with you because I think my staff is feeling uncomfortable about well, the video. We're in a public area and we're in a public building and you guys need to understand that. And if you can't understand it, one, that's tough luck. And two, go work in the private sector. Because with the attitude that I'm getting here, you wouldn't last a second. I wasn't specifically talking about you. I'm talking about the other staff. You are very professional. You're very respectful. I understand. And I appreciate it. I really do. Thank you. But the sergeant here is misinformed, okay? He's telling me I can't take pictures from right here, okay? And then they're telling me I can't take pictures and video in there from a public area. And now you are going to apparently give me some information regarding the statute on filming and recording yes. elections? Okay. But, but what I want, I would like, I will send, if you have an email, can send you the information. No, I'd like to see a copy of it so I could at least know what I'm abiding by. Because I'd rather not break the law. Well, I would rather you not break the law. Yeah. Okay. Um, I will say that my staff is uncomfortable. Okay. And so I would like you to, to respect the fact that they're uncomfortable. No. This is... Okay. I, I would it's irrelevant because, like I said before, I have rights. We have rights, as you know. Yeah. Okay. And I have a right to record in a public building. And okay. if there was an issue of accountability in, in this country with recording, we wouldn't even have that right. Okay. Do you understand what I'm saying? So I'm not going to give up my rights just because people are feeling a little uncomfortable. If they feel uncomfortable in a public area, then they have to find a private area or a private sector to work in. And that's just it. And maybe you should go in there and educate your staff and let them know that I have a right to do this and that I will abide by the, the law, okay, as long as it's within the rules. Okay. If the I rules are not within the law, then I'll be breaking those rules. Do you understand what I'm saying? Okay. That's all but can you, can you do your due diligence and explain that to them maybe? And maybe their, their comfortability will be a little subsided? I maybe they don't understand I have a right to do this. I think they were just uncomfortable and I okay. will have a discussion with them. Okay. I can't do two things at the same time. So if we have further issues, right, it's because you didn't explain to your staff that I'm allowed to do what I'm doing. Uh, That's okay. what I'm going to take that as. Well, and I hope I don't want any issues. I didn't come here for any issues. I came here specifically to document what's going on here, and of course I'm running into problems. Well, I'm, I'm being as helpful with you as yeah, I can. You are. And okay. I, would, I will have a conversation with my staff. Okay. Like I said, I can't be in two different places that's at fine. the same time, yeah. so I can't talk to my staff. I would, think that's, yeah, I would think that's a little bit more important at this point because I am going to stay here and continue recording. Okay, that's And good. then maybe you can go down there and get some information from me and I could buy by the law. Okay. All right? I'm happy Sounds good? to do that, yes. All right, I'm willing I, to work with you if you work with me. Okay. We are all willing to work together. All right. Not a problem at all, okay? Appreciate it. Our police officer is here yeah. to protect the voters and make sure the process... Well, he's here to protect the people in general, not just voters. Well, and, and, the voters and my, are coming in this space, yeah. so yes. I get it. The voters are coming in this space, yeah. so we're trying to protect the process. I get it. I, I right. don't disagree. Interesting. Mr. Tough Guy over here. taking pictures where you're not allowed, apparently.
Don't worry, he's gonna be the new thumbnail. Don't worry about it. I'll make you a nice thumbnail, bud. With the Duncans. There you go. Beautiful. Thank you. So here's what we're going to do yeah. in order to make it so that you're able to do a full, full look in the space. Okay. Am I okay. welcome to come in? You can come in. Okay. You can stay right here. Okay. okay? No. Like, where's the boundary? Because, I mean, there's no cones. There's no there's nothing. There's no cones. That's I just want to know. There's a, in, there is a guardrail that it, you can't impede the voters. We will allow you to stand here. Okay. Observers. We're allowed to have four observers at a time. Okay. We do have a check-in sheet for our observers as well, just okay. so we can... So where can I exactly, like, you can stand? You stand right here. For, okay. So from, like, well, I don't want to block the door either. That you, I don't want to block the door. There's another door. You can stand right in front of that window. Okay. okay? And that's it? That's it. That's correct, because we have voting booths here. Yep. Our voters need to be able to use these voting booths. We okay. Have booths over there. Okay. Um, the ballot box that we're using is taped shut, just so you can see it. It's not taped. It's got a seal on it yep. that we check the seal every hour. Okay. Okay. That's interesting. It's good to know. Well, we, we're, Just, we're kind of riding a fair election and yeah. wanting to make the election secure for yeah. our voters. Okay. Okay. Understandable. Um, so you can be here. Yeah. I would appreciate. No. So just don't go past what, like the bucket, sir? Well, yes. I, I, I just want a general area. Yeah. I don't want to well, I, play games here. No, no, I know. You're going to stay right here. In between this. From here? Right there to that one. To here. Yep. Good enough. Okay, and please be respectful of the voters and any residents that come in. I yeah, I mean, if that. they show me respect, I'll do the same. But if not, then they're going to get the wrath of it. So, oh, yeah. just like Everybody this in here. kid over here. Everybody in here will be very respectful to you. Okay? Yeah. That's what we have an officer for, right? To protect our rights, right? Well, and I'm also the manager of the department, and okay. I can ask people to be respectful if you're respectful to them. So please try not to bait them. Try not to give bait them, them? Don't say that. Because they already bit the bait, and I didn't even put it out yet. Okay. <laughs> Well, and just remember, you can't ask them questions. Who? You can't ask the election workers questions, nor can you ask the voters questions. Okay? They're so working. I don't have a freedom of speech now? You're an observer. Observers are not allowed to ask questions. So my, I'll get you the information. So, so my freedom of speech is limited now, too? You're videoing. My freedom of speech is different than freedom of press. Interesting. Hmm. How'd that work out for you, bud? I even got a little further in here. Imagine that. <laughs> Sir, do you have to be a resident of Medford to vote? Do you have to be a resident in Medford to vote? It's a simple yes or no. Interesting. You can come back up now? No, I haven't seen it. Okay, I'll go check with her because I do want to. Well, I, I did see that. Is that what she's. Is that like the statute up there? Or is it just like rules? Because we know that rules and policies and law. Yeah. Three different things. Yeah. Still the rights. 
I think it's more the, the rights of the voters. Interesting. Yeah, because I didn't say anything about what you guys were claiming. So I'm just... Um, I'm just... He, he told me you weren't allowed, so... Yeah, but you can't just go by assumption like I told you. Didn't we have well, that? But you assumed. And then them. you enforced it. That's their job. Though. But you enforce it, but they don't even know. Well, true. So now they're telling you something yeah. you're assuming and you're trying to enforce it. Do you see the problem here? No, that's, I do. But that's why I told you, Rogers, at the first. Don't assume. Find out. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I was willing to hold off here until then. But they made a big stink, and come on, man. It's not called for, you know what I mean? Yeah, why not? Yeah, it just looks like the, uh, their rights. Okay. All right, yeah, I'm going to go see her, uh, see what I she says. She is, I think. Yeah, I'm I know what she is. Yeah, I was down there, actually. Okay. Um, I do want to find out their name um, and position here, because I'm going to be filing complaints on them for, for giving you false information to, to enforce. Okay, just you know ask I mean? her. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. I might be back. Let's go see her downstairs. So how is it going with your Hi. 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 I'm waiting for the attorney to send me the information you're looking for. You are. Okay. I was just seeing. Uh, it's no rush. I didn't think you did. Um, do you have a business card? Uh, I have a business card for the commission, yes. Okay. And the two gentlemen that are working in there, are they, are they um, employees of the city or are they they're, volunteers? They're temporary election workers. The temporary election workers. Okay. Do they get paid by the city? They do. They do. Do you have their names so I could file a complaint on them for giving false information to the officer who tried enforcing those rules um, that don't apply? So, uh... Well, they need to learn the rules. And I'd like to file to a complaint. Um, who would you like to file the complaint with? Those two gentlemen that are sitting down at the, at the desk there. One that got in my face, okay? Uh, okay. Okay, that's not very professional. What's up? What's up? What's up? Oh, you want to get in my face now? That's real professional. The other professional. one walking to me. I'm walking to you, huh? You should probably talk to him a little bit more about that. And then to the other gentleman who's given the police officer, the sergeant, false information, okay, stating I can't go in there, I can't take pictures, I can't record. We all know that's not true at this point. You cannot film anything inside. Well, I'm shop. doing it, and there's nothing you or this officer can do about it. Really? Really. And I already knew this anyway. Okay. I don't come into this, you know, I'm not, no. I don't come into this not knowing the rules of the laws, okay? I do all my research prior to. Because oh, I'm not trying to break any rules of laws. I know you're not. You know what I mean? Um, I that's not my intention. Not. Um, but by them misquoting rules and stating I can and cannot do certain things that I can and cannot do is not okay. 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 All um, right. I understand yeah. that. So I'd like to have their first and last name, their position, their salary, if I could do a request on that, and then a, a, a process of how to file complaints. Okay. So you can do a public records request. Yep. You do have to write it down for me so I know That's where fine. to send it. Okay. Do you have an email? I could send through an email. Oh, sure. And then uh, I could just receive it. You can send it. it to that email right on this there. One? So okay. send your public records request to okay. me, and we will get that information yep. to you. Okay. Um, how about this? How about if I send you the law through that as well? Yeah. Since I'm well, waiting for the attorney to get it to me. Okay. Is that As acceptable? long as you're not blowing smoke up, you know, up there, telling me I can and cannot go certain areas. I'll take your word on it, okay? No, no I talked to the attorney. I told them where you were standing, and yeah. I said that you were not impeding the voters' yeah. ability to vote, and you stayed in that one space. Yeah. As long as we have that agreement, we're good. Okay. Okay, so um, send me the email. Okay. Do you, do you know their names now? You know what? I'm going to wait till the email comes in because I also it's need publicly to... accessible. It's you're going to make me do a public records request for their name. I'm asking you to do that because interesting. I'm I'm asking you. You're to delaying do that. the process when you have their information right in front of you. That's what you're doing. I have to wait ten days for a response, and then who knows how long after that. So I'd like to have their names now so I could file a complaint on them at least. And I don't even know who I would do that with. Well, that's, that's what I want to do. I want to find out. Uh, oh, wait. Um, it's too crowded in here right now? Too crowded. We'll have going to start our conversation with her. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. Just, I would take it out. out. There's just too many people in here. Is there a limit? Well, it's very crowded in here. And it's hard to have a conversation with you when there's people having side conversations. Okay. Um, I need to check with HR to find out how we divulge people's in, um, names because I don't know the Public process. record. It, it's 100% it public terrific. record. Salaries, positions, all of it. It is. But I need, I would like, for my own well-being, so I'm not going to Is it readily available? 
It is readily available. Then you should probably give me their names if it's readily available and not delay the process any longer. Can, can you give me one minute? I'd like to call HR to find sure. out if that's something that I'm allowed to do. 100%. Okay. I mean, you gave me your business card. It's all public record. Well, the business, yes. Yep. Your name's public record. Everything's public record. And, and at this point, that. like yes. this right here is readily available. If I asked you your name and you said no, do a public records request, that's delaying the process when you could specifically just say your name. I'm, I would like to ask HR. So please hold on one moment and okay. I will do that, okay? Yep. How are you doing, sir? Can I have your name, please? Nope. I can't have your name? All right. I'm going to be filing complaints on you anyway, bud. That's good. Yep. You should probably learn the rules before you uh, back orders, huh? Didn't really work out for you that time, did it? Yeah, da, 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 da. nothing to say now though, do you? Learn the rules before you bark orders at people. Do you understand me? All right, there. I'm gonna. I'm pulling your records anyway, bud. So don't worry. I'll find out how little you make in the city. Prick. Actually, um, denied giving me his name. I asked him for his name, and he said he wasn't gonna give it to me. So that's not professional either. Now I need to file a complaint for him not identifying also. It wasn't what was posted outside of the wall out there, was it? Because I saw it was like the Bill of Rights for like voters and stuff. This is separate. Okay. Separate. I just want to make sure. Because I got that too. I didn't see anything regarding what they're spewing up there. Are you the supervisor up there? Or? I'm sorry? Who supervises them? I'm the supervisor. So you supervise them? Yes. Hmm. Yep. And you won't even identify them? So, Interesting. So I called upstairs. Mm hmm. Their name is public record. Their salary is public record. I can do a FOIA request. I'm sure you don't know what that is on the top of your head, I would assume. But their name you do. Okay, so here's the ele elections advisory. Okay. Okay, so I can provide that to you, and there's one other thing I can provide you. Okay. I'm going to take you down the hall. We just have to get this stamped, okay? One second. You should probably give a copy to them upstairs, no? And then highlight exactly what the issue was today. I would highly suggest you do that. I, I'm happy to do that. It's either you will or I will. Okay, so if you just follow me down here, we'll um, get the stamp. Do you have a stapler? Sure. You don't mind, please. I just don't I have to mix them all up. Thank you. Okay. Here's this documentation. Okay. And um, you'll send me the public records request in okay. the elections email. Yep. And I'll take care of all that for you. Okay. I will get it back to you as soon as humanly possible. Okay. Okay. Do you? So how am I supposed to identify them? <laughs> if I don't know their name and file a complaint, how am I supposed what? to do a public records request on somebody if I don't know their information? That is exactly why you should be giving it to me. Okay, so in your public records request, mm -hmm. you could please put in the election workers that were in the uh, city hall, city council chamber mm -hmm. at the time that you visited. And then I will know who they are, and then I can talk to HR about what information on their, uh, that I can release on them. Why don't I just send it to HR then, if they're going to be doing the FOIA request? Yeah, Would that make sense? I mean, you can send it to HR. If you'd like to send it to me, you can send it to me, or you can send it to HR. This is ridiculous, you know that? Thank that you. you're refusing to give me your staff, public workers, okay, names, when they work for the people, and I have complaints to file, and now you're literally slowing down the process by making me do a FOIA request when the names are readily available right now, and you're refusing to give that to me, is that correct? I'm asking you to Are you refusing to give me their names right now so I can file a formal complaint? I'm asking you to give me a public records request for that information. 
Interesting. Okay. Okay. All right. And who's your supervisor? My supervisor is the election commission. Okay. Do you have their information? Um, sure. I can give you the election commission information. Right. Not a problem. That email address, the information on that on that card, yep. will get them the information that you're requesting. Yeah, I wonder if that's how they're going to act on the camera. I could only imagine what they're going to do off the camera. Here's the election commission information. Okay, and if you send an email right there, they will get the email, and I'll make sure that they respond to you. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and I'll send you the FOIA request. That would be great. Thank you. Interesting. All right. Thank you. Have a nice day. You too. Do you want to go give a copy to them, or should I? I'll give them this copy. You can make me another one. That's what. I, no, I, I don't. I don't believe you now. I, I don't believe you. You're already delaying the process for a FOIA request. Um, and you tell it. Do you want me to print it off? And I'll give it. You can print off another one. I'll give them this copy. Okay, great. Thank you for doing that. You're not here for me again, are you? Huh? You here for me? No. I'm just wondering, man. No. No, he's coming to see me. Cool. Check in with you. Everything's okay? Yeah. Great. Is it, do they need anything upstairs? Huh? Do they need anything upstairs? No, I was wanted to talk to the mail. Oh, okay. I'll have her come find you. Okay. okay. Thank you. Are you going back upstairs? Yeah. Okay, so I just want to let you know. Um, I am going to give... Hi, good morning. No, it's fine. Um, so this is like the, the rules. Yeah. Pretty much, you know, and like what you can and can't do. Oh, you know, who can be an observer, pitches, all this stuff. I am going to give them a copy of this upstairs so they know the rules <laughs> before they start barking orders at people like myself who actually know what's going on. Um, and maybe you could take a look at it too. Yep. Educate yourself a little bit just so you can allow people to do what they're doing in, in a respectful, you know, manner, obviously, right? Because I'm not here to, you know, cause a disorder or anything like yep. that. It's not what I'm here for. But I do want them and yourself to understand the rules. Because if I Sounds understand, it, it's just it's frightening that I understand them a little bit better than you guys at this yeah, point. Yeah, no, I agree with you. You know what I mean? So yeah. I just don't want it. This is going to help cause less issues later on, is yeah. what this is going to do, okay? Yeah. All right, so if you want to follow me up there, yeah. whatever you want to do, I just, like I said, I don't want to have any issues. Yeah. Um, but if you, if you want to go over it at some point, yeah, I, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to get another copy anyway. Um, because she said she's going to give it to them, but I think they should already know. So I'll give them this copy. I'll go and get another one. At least everybody will be on the same page. And how you doing? Good. These are the rules that you need to abide by, okay? I want you to read that, mm -hmm. learn it, and love it. You understand? And respect okay. what I, people I are doing here. Okay. I don't want to shake your hand. I'm all set. You okay. won't even identify yourself, all right? But I had the benefit, uh, at least I had the courtesy to come up here and try to de-escalate the situation, okay? okay? Try to give you the rules so you could apply them accordingly. Because what you did, okay, is you told him something that's false. And it's, it, 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 I, was, I was informed from the person downstairs. It doesn't matter what people say. These are the rules right here in paper. Okay? You need to read them. On the second page, it says recording, audio, where and what cannot do. But what you did is you told him false information, and he went to act on those. And he assumed. So he had an issue with assuming, just like you did, with what we can and cannot do. So I have the courtesy to bring that up for you. I'm going to get a copy of myself, but it's a little scary, okay? Me knowing a little bit more than you three because I am allowed to do what I'm doing. And you, all three of you told me I could. And that's not fair, okay? We have rights here. And that's what I'm doing. I'm exercising my rights. Just like people here voting, they have that right too. Okay? Sure. All right? I'm gonna be doing a public records request on your information. If you'd like to give me your name now instead of wait, making me wait, mm -hmm. that, would be, that would be professional. I'd appreciate it. Would you be able to give me your first name and last name? No. And you wonder why I didn't shake your hand, right? 
How about you, sir? You want to give me your first and last name? Okay. No thanks. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna. I just want to let you know I'm doing a public records request. I'm gonna pull all the information about you guys: your salary, how much you make, your names, your positions. It's just the process is a little easier if you just give me your name now. If you have any questions for me or anything like that, I mean, they didn't even say anything to me yet. I mean, I will, but they didn't. They don't have a problem with it right now. Well, I okay. do. <laughs> well, I was just talking to them. There Thank you are. There's your documentation. It. Yep, I just gave okay. them a copy. Thank you very much. Right. And I'm just going to ask no, you. No, you don't have to. Here. I know the rules. Okay. Okay, I gave them the paper. I gave them the information. Perfect. That's it. That's Thank all I'm here for. Okay? Appreciate it very much. Thank you. And they're both refusing to identify themselves, so it's not very professional or transparent. Well, people should identify themselves when asked by a member of the public. Okay. Thank you for thank you. I look forward to No, no you don't. It's pretty sad. I have to educate these public officials here the rules of conduct in the city hall. It's disgusting. It's amazing how I know more than they do, and I have to give them the rules so they don't bark orders on people that understand the rules. But we're fixing that today, so. All right, gentlemen, have a good day. I'll be filing complaints on you too. You're okay. All right, just do me a favor. Look at the rules, look at the laws. Don't assume, okay? Thank you. Have a good day, Rogers. Roger. Sketchy and suspicious, these two. It's like election fraud, possibly. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to do a little education, yeah? A little powwow. Learn a little bit of respect of the public. Spanking. I just gave him one, so. Enjoy, ladies, gentlemen, if there are any. Have a good day. Thank you. All right, everybody, so that's going to be it over here today at the Medford City Hall in Massachusetts for our First Amendment audit. Uh, didn't go so well. Uh, as soon as I walked in there, we met a Karen, of course, um, and I tried to explain to her that, you know, there's no expectation of privacy in public and that I am able to record in a public area. Um, then I went up to uh, where I saw the elections. Uh, it's early election time. I will put all the information up um, at this point. The uh, sergeant up there, Rogers, um, he uh, was under the assumption that we were not able to uh, record uh, in video inside, um, but that is just not true. Uh, he went under the assumptions of the committee uh, that was working at the desk there. One of those kids, uh, as you saw, got on my face. What's up? What's up? What's up? Oh, you want to get in my face now? That's real professional. Walking to me roll the back. I'm walking to you, huh? Um, I did not back up and uh, told him to step back from my face, so there's going to be an issue. Obviously, uh, we can't be having that with these public servants. They need to understand uh, what, li what line to drive with us. And, uh, you know, he, he started crossing it. And then I talked to Melissa, who is uh, the supervisor, who refused to give me the information so I could file complaints on that gentleman um, that was inside of those uh, for the board elections uh, committee. So uh, if you'd like to file your complaints and redress your grievances, uh, you could always do so. All the information is here for your uh, convenience. 
Uh, please make sure you like, share, and subscribe to my channel at Press NH Now. I appreciate all your support. Also, check out that playlist to see some videos you might not have seen in the past. Hit that like button. Let all your friends and family know about my activism in and around the New England states. Always check the description. All links will be included. Donations are greatly appreciated. They do help me continue my activism in and around the New England area. We're going to uh, head out. I appreciate all your support. Till the next one. Press NH Now. Over and out.